Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my little farm. Today, we're going to get out once again and uh, hopefully grow some more things successfully because the last episode, got to be honest, felt pretty great. It went very, very smoothly, which for me is honestly surprising. I didn't expect uh, the grape orchard to go so well. But yeah, if you missed that, we built this. We made our first products, which were raisins and grape juice. And uh, today, a lot of you guys requested that I try and do cotton. It's another unique crop with unique harvesting vehicles. So you guys seem to like the ones that are kind of weird, you know, where you're not just sowing a field. You actually need unique equipment to do cotton. So yeah, we're going to try that after I clean these vines of their dead leaves. And yeah, we'll just see how we can do by building uh, a cotton plantation. All right, so there we go. The vines are stripped. That means next year they should automatically grow, I believe. Hopefully. All right, and clearly I chose the right size, but yay for organization. That fits perfectly, and we'll see you next season. All right, I'm also going to buy the land directly across from the shop. I feel like this will be a nice big field. These are the fields we own, for the record, so this one's going to give us a lot more room. So now we need to actually purchase the machinery. We need a planter, which we can fill from either a seed pallet or a silo. We need a specialized uh, cotton harvester, and then we need special equipment. That's all it's saying. Uh, to sell it to a selling station or to a production point. Now, I'm going to try and make clothing with it. Uh, we need wool for that as well, so it won't be happening today. But when we get into animal husbandry, we probably will try and do that. Now, there is a cotton pack in here. I might buy some of this, but I don't like that you can't choose what unit you want. For example, I believe there's a better harvester. And you know what? Let's live large. So I think it says, yeah, cotton technology right here. So yeah, we have this one or the Big John Deere. I'm going to buy the Big John Deere. Let's do that. And man, this is massive. I mean, just judging by the, the cockpit here... <laughs> I'm gonna feel like a freaking king. All right, we have a cotton technology tab. Now we need a bale loader. Um, I'm thinking, you know what? Let's let's just go for the fancy one. And we're we're, we're gonna do fancy cotton technology because we have a big field we have to deal with. So eighty nine thousand. That's really not that much money, anyways. All right, now we need a planter, not a cedar. Very confusing. They're they're very similar named, but I want to get a nice big one of these, making sure it can obviously do cotton. There's a lot of options, as you can see. Ooh, does this one fertilize? Yeah, these look like they have fertilization tanks on the back of them. That is cool. You know what? Let's stick with the John Deere, maybe. It's also the most expensive. But screw it. Look at how cool this thing is. I don't know if this is what we need, but we're going to use it anyways. All right, and I'm just going to buy this tractor just because it has an attachment for a front-end loader on the front as well. Might come in handy later, and it's the one that the pack suggested, so I don't know if I need anything fancy. We'll just buy this. I think that's everything, aside from fertilization, of course, which we probably will want to buy now, too. There's so many weird things. So a sp there's like spaders, which prepares the field for next sowing. I don't know what I need. Power harrows also prepare the field for next sowing. Subsoilers do it as well. What are, what's a disc harrow? Used for shallow cultivation of fields. How do I know if I need it shallow or not? I mean, there's also rollers to improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. The, the amount of things are insane. So I'm sorry if I don't do it right. Um, let's just get fertilizer. Or do I want a sprayer? What's the difference between a fertilizer spreader and a sprayer? All right, I'm just gonna buy this one and hope for the best. This one looks nice. All right, I think I also need a cultivator. So, of course, I'm just gonna buy the, the biggest one just because, you know, I like playing with big things. And we should probably get a really big tractor because I feel like with the size of the things that we have, uh, we're gonna need one. I should also mention, I, I downloaded a mod. This is an autonomous freaking tractor. I don't know if it works or not, but this is the first mod that got me excited because, well, look at it. It's actually based on a real-world tractor that came out in 2016, so we'll buy that. I don't know if we'll use it today or not, but we'll use it sooner or later. That, that is a big tractor. I don't know if we need that big. Then again, it's tempting to just go the, the John Deere route. I think let's just go down a little bit. This looks really cool. I, I'm just going to buy that one because it looks cool. All right, that might not be everything, but I think that's everything. So hopefully <laughs> that's all we need because I don't have any more space with the other crap that's here. Wait, what is this thing? Did, did, did I buy two cultivators? I don't even remember what I bought. Oh, okay. So that thing I bought, it's a cultivator and a cedar mixed in one. So I didn't need to buy the other cultivator. 
All right, and before I forget, I should also check what season it is right now, because, yeah, we probably don't want to do this wrong. It's actually almost planting season, so I'm just going to make sure we have everything set up, and then we'll uh, plant, and it looks like it's going to be a long growth phase before harvest. All right, well, I don't know if this is the perfect setup, but I think this should at least hopefully work. We have the cultivator, the seed, then the fertilizer, and then the harvester. Uh, and then we have the baler as well. So I guess now we sleep like a bear and see if I did this somewhat right. <laughs> All right, I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous. I have no idea if I did this right or not, but only one way to find out, and that's by starting to do it. So we are going to unfold cedar. It's doing things, it's doing its transformation. Oh my God, I'm, I'm gonna do one swipe and have this whole thing finished. <laughs> All right, lower cedar. I am having so much fun if you haven't been able to tell, guys. Um, Make sure we have cotton on, and we do. All right, we don't need ridge markers. I don't know what unloading means. I'm assuming it's referring to the seed. So I guess we just turn on the cedar now. It's 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 making noises. Let's see if I'm doing it right. Oh my God, I'm so big. Yes. All right, let's get some lighting on here. There we go. Oh my God, this is so fun. You know, when you, when you spend millions in technology and farming, farming isn't so bad. Like, look at this. Like, I thought this massive field was going to be hard. We're going to be done this in, like, five swipes, maybe. Well, god damn it, I should have bought more seed, clearly. I underestimated the size of this field, but we're going to be done our day's job before the top of the hour. All right, and there we go, an hour into our day, and uh, our field is already done. Oh, man. Now, I don't know if I should wait for a growth phase for me to fertilize. Maybe I'll just fertilize twice just for the fun of it, because this is way easier than I thought. Um, yeah, let's just make sure we, we, we know what to do. So I'm going to try and fertilize now. And then once we see the first little sproutings of the cotton, we might fertilize again. I don't know. So let's just turn it on and we should get a visual. I think it just kind of darkens the ground. Yeah, you can see. Oh, my God. I actually, yeah, okay, there we go. I, I am correct. It's a lot bigger than I expected. You know what? <laughs> I feel like this is uh, not something I should be driving, so let's just hire an AI worker. There we go. And <laughs> now we have robots plowing our, our fields. Uh, uh, I don't really want to fertilize the grass. He's still going. He's turned off the fertilizer, though. I wonder if he's realigning himself better than what I had it as. Um, I think he's actually doing that. Wow. Is he going to turn it on? Are, are, are you smart enough, sir? 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 Sir, now, now you're just driving in my field. Okay, yes, turn it on. Smart. Oh my God, the spread. That's why. Okay, he, he knows better than me, clearly. All right, so just want to make sure everything's going right. It is growing. Good. We also have the correct crop type just by the white. Soil composition has been fertilized. I guess not once, but twice. Judging by the color here. What's going on? Is he stuck? Oh, come on. You're a freaking robotic tractor. You don't know how to go around this? Come on, man. Better not be paying you by the hour. Don't fertilize the road. We, we don't need to grow road. All right, just fixing what the derpy robot screwed up. For some reason, he didn't want to fertilize these side pieces. But uh, once we're done that, I guess we're pretty much done until harvest time. So... Uh, that was pretty easy. I think the hard part of this is going to be bailing. We'll see how difficult that truly is. Well, problem, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first growth phase, as you can see, growing. You might have noticed there's multiple types of plants here, though. Not just cotton. It's like 20 to 40% weed and not the good stuff. So I guess I need a weeder. Uh, <laughs> I'm learning as I go here, ladies and gentlemen. So I guess we'll try that. Weeders pull out grown weeds between crops and improving the field state. They can only be used in the first growing stages. Okay, well, I guess, should we get the chop star? You know what? Just because of the name, I'm buying it. <laughs> also, as you can see, um, fertilization didn't seem to stick, except for the tracks of my wheels, evidently. That's probably where the weeds didn't grow. <laughs> I don't know. We'll try and fertilize again. Oh, yeah, I should probably take the tractor over. That would be smart. Okay, I have no idea how big this thing is. I don't think it's anywhere near as big as the other ones. Yeah, no, this is going to be probably the, one of the longer jobs. It's still pretty big, all things considered, but I definitely will probably hire a worker for this. All right, so lower weeder, and that's it, right? Okay, cool. So let's just try it for a little bit, see how this thing works. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as we get rid of the majority of the weeds. You can easily see which ones 
the cotton is by the perfect placement and yeah it's definitely just picking out the weeds perfect all right well worker get to work good luck out there Get all those weeds out of my crops, god damn it. The good thing is, now that the weeds are gone, the, the thing still is fertilized, as you can see. So I don't think we're going to need to re-fertilize. We just had to have the extra process of de-weeding the field. I got to say, you can easily see where I have done it, or where the bot's done it, and where it hasn't. Uh, you just going to quit on me right at the end? What the, what the hell, man? What the... How did you miss a whole freaking square over there? Why did you quit? I'm so confused. No, keep it down. Well, I guess I'll just do the rest because this guy gave up right at the end. I don't get it. You were basically there. All right. Well, that was definitely the hardest part of this so far. Not that I really did anything besides watch. But yeah, it actually took like 40 minutes to do that. And uh, we're just going to finish up with this. And look at how good my field looks. It's 100% fertilized, 0% weeds. Now, I'm curious to see in the next growth phase if we got to do this again. I hope not because this is a, a rather small tool for the size of this field. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't take too long, but compared to the rest of my stuff, this thing's just a little bit slower, but that's okay. Anyways, we'll finish up this random weird spot and uh, go back to sleeping and wait for our cotton to grow. All right, and yeah, another month gone, and as you can see, they are slowly growing, and it looks like once we do weeding once, we don't have to worry about it again, and the fertilization's 100%, so perfect. Back to sleep. Uh, a few months later, we got our first little sign of the cottony bit, as you can see, getting a lot taller, still looking great. I think one more cycle, and we should be good. All right, and I think now, yes, indeed, it is time to go. All right, and here we go. What the heck? is going on i love it <laughs> every time i get so excited with the technology here it's lowered it's lifted we'll turn it on and this thing i should mention also auto bales so it's going to turn the cotton into bales automatically if you remember at the start we had another harvester i was looking at that one just poops out these like giant cubes so this one adds an, an, another process to it and i think i need to do that process if i want to refine this stuff even more with production uh, but yeah, this is kind of how it works. Very similar to something like corn harvesting and it just kind of pulls it in and somehow inside the magic happens. And once we fill this thing up, which is going to take a long time, as you can see, I think the bales should pop right out the back. Interesting enough, um, the cotton's going up, but the bale isn't. I'm assuming once the cotton goes to 100%, a bale will just come out. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna get too many bales. As you can see, we're almost down the line here, just starting from the road, and we're 59% filled. So that's a good thing. I guess you can hold a lot of liters of cotton inside these bales. I mean, we're already at 16,000 liters of cotton. Another cool thing about this harvester is check out this turning radius. You can freaking turn on a dime, literally. Amazing. So we're just gonna go back and forth, I think. Oh. Wow, so we just hit the 100%. That's 25% of a bale? My god, we are going to need big fields if we want more than a couple bales. Um, so yeah, I need to do four passes for every bale. All right, well, I guess we're only going to have to deal with a few bales, which makes uh, cleanup a lot easier, but... Uh... Yeah, I hope this is worth a lot of money. We'll have to calculate it at the end. I am actually amazed with how much of this field went into one bale, but there we go. Is, is it doing it? I don't know if I have to drop it off myself. Nope, it's pooping it out. L let's enjoy the size of this thing. Oh my god. How the hell am I going to pick that up? Now it makes sense. I'm thinking, you know, ordinary hay bale size bales. No, this thing, like, look at the size of this sucker. I could freaking live in that thing. Okay, well, it makes a lot more sense now. Now, the cool thing is I guess I can choose where I want to drop it off. And I guess I'll just keep it on here until we need to drop it off. So we have them side by side. That should be easier for loading up on the trailer. But yeah, we definitely won't get many bales. Hell, we might even only get two. I don't think we're definitely not getting three, I don't think, just because we're shortening the field after every pass here. That's insane to me, the, the size of these freaking bales. All right, and we're gonna hit our second here. It should pop off the first one, I'm thinking, once it gets to 100%, of course. And yeah, it's just gonna let it go automatically. This thing is magical. <laughs> and then out pops another massive one. Perfect. All right, you know what? I'm just going to leave both here to make uh, loading up these things easier. So we'll unload and continue finishing up the rest of the field. But as you can see, highly doubt we'll get a third out of this. 
All right, I'm just gonna trust that uh, a hired worker will do the rest of this because I want to prep the bales now. Now, I did realize you can actually unload unfinished bales, so we should at least get three. Probably not a full one, though. I also love how dirty this thing is now. I'm gonna have to buy a power washer to clean these things sooner or later. But yeah, while that's busy doing whatever the hell it does, I'm gonna try and figure out this thing because it looks a lot more high tech than I expected. Let's just throw it into operating position. Okay, so it's kind of like the uh, the hay balers that we had before, except a lot freaking bigger. All right, so I think I hit them like this. Plus, I don't hit them from the side, do I? I don't want to ruin my crop here. Maybe I should wait for him to go. What is he doing? Uh, he's gonna take forever. Who cares? It's a little bit of cotton if I do hit it. Is this, is this right? Yes, grab it. Okay, this is this is an insane trailer. Do we really need this big of a trailer? <laughs> this can hold what, like five bales, four bales? I don't think I need something that big, honestly. With the size of this field and the fact that we're only getting three, this is insane to me. You're doing a good job, bud. There we go. Oh, it actually does only hold three, so this is kind of perfect. I think if we add a bit more to this field, which we can do, by the way, um, this would be the perfect field for this. Oh my god, this tractor is amazing. I'm glad I bought this one. All right, well, that was way easier than I thought, so I guess we'll just wait for the rest to be finished. And, uh, yeah, there is a job well done. Look at all that cotton. All right, you better empty that thing. Feed me. I am ready for it. <laughs> I'm just patiently waiting. Unload it! What are you doing? Please unload it. Uh, I guess the worker doesn't unload it. That's unfortunate. Unload unfinished bale. Let's see how little this one is compared to the others. Actually, very comparable. Interesting. Uh, it's definitely... Is it smaller? I can't tell. If the model's the same, that feels a little weird. But there you go. There's the final little piece to our, uh, massive cotton empire. Man, that was, uh... A I mean, considering we had the best machinery, that was still really hard. For the record, this took four hours for me to fully do this. So it's not like it's a fast job, but it's a lot faster than the basic uh, machinery. And yeah, it's the same size. All right, but clearly we bought the right trailer for the job. Uh, we, we couldn't fit any more if we wanted to. So let's go over and uh, put this into our first manufacturing for cotton. Unload bales here. Ah, okay, drop it. Drop it. Is this working? I don't. I don't think this is working. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, it is being added. Can I? Can I actually move these by hand? No, I can't. So I'm just gonna have to push it in. All right. So hopefully I can just push this. I'm way too lazy to put it on the trailer again. There we go. Sell it. Well, don't sell it. Store it. Oh, there we go. It's just slowly actually loading it into my cotton mill. Okay, and there we go. So we have 25,214 liters of cotton. Now, as I said, we do need wool to make fabric, unfortunately. We can't just make 100% cotton fabric. So I guess that means we'll have to get an animal husbandry soon because I do need some wool to make some clothing in the tailor's shop. But just out of curiosity, 25,000 liters of cotton, how much would that be worth? So prices are for a thousand liters. Best price right now is four thousand four hundred. So that whole harvest was a little over a hundred thousand in raw resources. Not too bad. Definitely not getting rich on this, considering the amount of uh, machinery you need to do this. But it was really fun to do that type of harvest, and now I'm excited to get into animal husbandry because I actually have a goal in mind, and that's to open up the old needle and stitch over here. But yeah, that's more than enough for one episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the cotton harvesting. Keep the suggestions coming. I wouldn't have done this if you guys didn't suggest it like crazy, so I am checking the comments to see what you guys want to see. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and checking out our first mod. Uh, not a lot of mods have come out yet for the record, but I will be adding them to the playthrough as they come out if they are interesting enough. And yeah, I will say an automated tractor is pretty damn interesting. But yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.